today I'm tricking my friend with his own recipe. Let's get started. So my good friend doing the most has a well-known braggot recipe that's called the Wampus Cat Braggot. I'll show you the recipe on screen, but I want to make sure and say that this isn't my recipe. This is his, so please don't think it's mine. Today I'm brewing this recipe up and I'm taking some of it to him to see what he thinks of it. So I didn't tell him what he was tasting whenever he tried it. I just wanted to get his unfiltered reaction just to kind of take his own brew to him. I'm going to quickly say what I did, but doing the most himself has an even better video on this recipe and why he adds specific ingredients for it. So I will link his video below. I highly recommend to watch it. So here's what I did. I mashed one pound of honey malt for one hour and then added one ounce of hops for 45 minutes. I then added the other ounce of hops for 15 minutes. We moved that into a bucket and we added our honeys at that point. We then topped everything up to five gallons and mixed it all together. Our starting gravity was 1.040 and we're using Kvike Voss so it will ferment quickly and efficiently. We're not fermenting in the high heat that the Kvike Voss normally sits in, but it will still do well. We let this ferment for about two weeks and then saw it start to clear up. We moved it into a new container and added Sparkaloid to clear it up. After about 24 hours, we moved it into the keg and we force carbonated it. Now that we've seen the creation of this brew, let's see what the creator of it thinks about it. BC, welcome to um, a not power expanders, but a uh, somewhat like it. You're gonna taste this thing today and just this thing. Yeah, just just tell me tell me what you get, what the okay. vibe is. Everybody who's watching this has seen the progression of it. Ah. It's not, we just tasted something really wacky. So can confirm this is not as wacky as the uh, chili cheese beer that we just <laughs> yeah. had. So yeah. just a little. I have, I have my prop one that's gonna <laughs> live in the back of the. That's the age for a year. Yeah, I'm gonna age that one for a year. So um, yeah, simply enough, you've done good, you've done tastings with me okay. plenty of times. So I'm just telling you just taste it. what so, I think about it. Yeah, tell me what you think. Okay, well I like the color. Yeah. It's got like an orange, mm -hmm. uh, orange amberish kind of color. It, does, it looks a lot like the dinosaur um, mm, Jurassic Park yeah. <laughs> crown, <laughs> if you hold it to the light. I'll show you. Uh, yeah, no, it, it looks it looks good. It's it's holding a nice beady head. Mm -hmm. Anything on the nose? It smells malty. Mm -hmm. Kind of like an Irish red. Okay. Like, like kind of like a neutral but malty sweet. It smells sweet. Mm -hmm. It's pretty one note. It kind of like rings that rings that bell. Yeah. But it smells it smells tasty. Go for it. Yeah. kind of tastes how I thought it would. Which is? There's like some caramel notes. There's like toasty notes. It's a little malty, but it's a little thin. Uh-huh. Uh, so it's not like, it's not like malty viscous. It's like you can taste the, that like richness and then it kind of washes away. Yep. Um, good sparkle to it. It is slightly sweet. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's a if you it's a braggot if you figure that out I'm sure you've figured out by yeah, now yeah <laughs> that's that's yes that was gonna be my guess is that it's it is a braggot yeah pretty there's a fruitiness in there which like you would get like with a wheat beer typically mm -hmm. I'm wondering if that's your grain bill or if that's mm. the honey maybe that's yeah. in there but there's definitely like a fruity kind of dark berry kind of yeah. character in there yep. it's gonna say almost like a cherry like a uh, not like a to me, not the medicinal cherry, but yeah, like a sweet cherry yeah. or like you know when you get like a bubble gum, like a zebra stripe gum that's like fruit flavored. Yeah. It's like that kind of fruitiness. That's yeah. and it's nice. It's like refreshing and it complements the maltiness well. I think the only thing I would want from this, in addition, is just a little <clears throat> bit more body. Yeah, it uh, is. It is a little bit. Thin. It's tough to do with a braggot because yeah. the honey always thins them out. But it is interesting how that works. You would think that. It add ABV, add, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Are you ready to know it's, what this is? Yeah, it's good. It's refreshing. This is the Wampus Cat. Braggot. Oh. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> my my this, recipe. This is your recipe, my friend. I was wondering friend. <laughs> if that sweetness was honey malt. It is. Okay. So this is your mm -hmm. recipe. Okay. I uh, brewed it up and I wanted to, I wanted to. What yeast did you use? I'm not I followed up. your recipe to a T. So, so is it Voss? It's Voss. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
So I, I've actually did, did it mm. twice. I did it the first time and I threw the wrong hops in. Okay. And so I was like, well crap. And so then I went back and I'd made it one more time. And uh, so this is exactly well, your recipe. Well that's why it's so damn good. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I feel like you've had, you said yeah. you've had people brew it before mm -hmm. and talk about it. I don't know if you've got to taste it. I thought that was... Um, I have never got to taste one that's just a one-to-one. -one. Mm -hmm. We had a few riffs on Wampus Cap at the last Mead Stampede. Yeah. But like in the notes, it was always like, but I added five times as much hops right. or, or right, whatever. Right, right, right. Yeah, no, this so was... never one-to-one. -one. I basically just took your video. Love um, it. I, I rewatched it and then was like, all right, that's exactly what he did. I'm picking up more honey malt in here than I normally pick up hmm. in mine. It's yeah. a little bit sweeter. Mm -hmm. mine, mine, I think, typically finishes flavor-wise a little bit drier than this. Yeah. And that honey malt is so easy to pick out. Like mm -hmm. I could smell it in here. I do like it a little sweeter though. I like that it is pronouncing that honey character. It's still yeah. malty, but you know, it's still base. Yeah, it reinforces yeah. that there's there's honey in there. You know, honey malt is really uh, controversial. Mm. A lot of people don't like it. They say it's too sweet. I could see that though. I mean, this is dry. This is 1.0 to mm -hmm. dry. Mm -hmm. So, and it does perceive as sweet. Yeah, as sweet, it does. not super sweet, but like. Like I said, so. I could smell it on the nose. So, I thought it was fun to surprise you. And, yeah, that's great. Uh, you know, I think people will enjoy this too. I, I just like, I wish that there was more of that like Voss, like orange yeah. character. To be fair, I fermented this recently. Yeah, so I was gonna this say. was not. <laughs> You probably didn't ferment it outside no. at 105 and degrees. No, and I didn't put a heat wrap around it. I probably should have done that too. Okay. So, you know, I think there's a world where, you know, putting that to the test. It'll make it crispier. Yeah. Like, it, it, it gives it more of those orange notes. But, I mean, it's pretty damn good. Even in, in the cold. <laughs> you can brew it in the cold. So there you go. There not, you go. Not the cold, you know. This normal is temp. one of my favorite recipes. Well, I'm it's glad I could so surprise simple. you with it. It's so simple. It is simple. Simple and fun. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to go check out his video, you've... I mean, you've seen me make it too, but it's his recipe. He's also got a bunch of other braggots. He's got meads and wines and everything you can think of. Um, I've, it's easy to brew his stuff, I'll say that. So thank you for uh, letting me surprise you. I'm glad you didn't. Um, what if I hated it? I know, I don't know what I was gonna do if you were like, man, this is garbage. Yeah, it's been a while since I've had one. I mean, I, I think the last time I had a keg of this was almost a year ago. Yeah. So it was early last summer, so yeah. I mean, anyways, go check out Doing the Most. Thanks for tuning in and uh, see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.